Hello! Today we're going to have a look at basically how to set up BitLocker. In one of our previous videos we showed how to kind of like encrypt single files, single folders, etc. using the encrypted file system. Now we're using BitLocker which encrypts the entire system drive. Everything, literally. Okay, system drives, other hard drives, everything you can literally have BitLocker turned on for. It takes the whole thing at one chunk. Okay, now you need to turn on BitLocker over here, which you get to this screen by basically going there and then typing in BitLocker. Okay, it's in control panel in case this doesn't come up. Okay, and it basically brings up the screen. Okay, now if you have a trusted platform module, okay, TPM chip, okay, on your computer, basically it'll go through nice and easy. Okay, if you do not have that chip, it's not quite problem you can basically use a software side okay but you need to do, go into group policies and turn something on so what do we need to do for that we just go in there and type in gpedit.msc okay and that brings up this click on that and then this will open and then all you need to do is go into local computer policy administrative templates okay windows components bitlocker operating system drives and then require additional authentication at startup okay make sure you click enabled okay okay we don't wanna and then make sure you click OK on there okay that's fine once that's done you can turn BitLocker on okay and it basically ensures everything's okay. Now you have a couple of options. One, you can basically have a USB memory stick, okay, that is used every time you start up your computer. That stick needs to be in there because it's almost like, shall we say, like your own little passport, okay, to kind of like um, unlock the computer, okay. It has the keys and all that stuff on there, okay. The other option is you can have a password. So basically when you boot up, you just type in a password and then you come in, okay. Either way is fine, okay. We'll go, in this case, enter a password, okay? You want to have a nice, complex password because you don't want someone breaking into, into your computer. We're just doing this for a simple demonstration right now, so we're going to keep it simple. There we go. All right. Okay. It needs a, sub, a certain number of characters with a capital in there. Okay, that's fine. Okay, now... You need to back up a recovery key because basically your entire computer is going to be encrypted. Every single file, even shall we say that little Word document from yesterday. Okay? Everything's going to be backed up. I mean, encrypted. So, we need to have, in case something goes wrong, a recovery key. Okay? You can save it to a USB flash drive, save it to a file, but it'll need to be on another drive. That basically is not being encrypted. You could save it to your Microsoft account if you have a Windows Live account, Microsoft account, you log into it, basically it saves it to there. You could, on the other hand, also print a recovery key, okay, and then stick it on the wall, but obviously that's not that secure because everybody walking past will see it. Anyways, we'll save it to a file, okay, and we'll actually choose a USB drive. So that's all happy. That's saved. Click next. Encrypt. Use this space only. Okay, so basically only the files that are currently being used on the computer are going to be encrypted. If there's any free space, that's not going to happen to that place right now. Later, when you fill that up, it does get encrypted automatically though. Okay, however, let's assume you had some files in empty spaces, okay, and then maybe you deleted them. Okay, and maybe they're not completely deleted from the computer, so you might want to choose the last one. Okay, for a completely new computer, completely new system, you might want to choose a top. For something where you might have something that's appeared to be deleted but is not deleted, you might want to encrypt the entire drive, but that's a lot, lot slower. Okay, we're going to go with the first one. Click next, okay. Run BitLocker system check, that's definitely nice and good. Okay, the computer will restart now. Okay, we'll come back. Okay, 
And this is what's going to happen. Basically, every time you boot up, you need to enter in a password, okay, which is a password that you entered earlier. Or if you basically had used your USB as kind of like a key, okay, your USB needs to be inserted at this time. Okay, so click enter. Okay. Okay, and after it restarts, we just go to here, type in BitLocker again, B-I-T-L-O-C-K-E-R, okay, and then basically click on it in Control Panel, okay, and then it will give us a status of what's happening, okay, basically it says BitLocker encrypting, okay, it, as mentioned, it does take quite a decent amount of time. Hello, now we're going to have a quick look at how to check using Windows PowerShell. Okay, what is the status of BitLocker? Very simply, all we need to do is type in manage dash BDE and then space dash status. Click enter and it'll tell us what's happening with our drives. Okay, for example, our C drive, we're encrypting it, it's currently being encrypted, it's at 89.8. 7%. It's using AES128 encryption advanced encrypted systems. Um, if you were to go for 256, it would actually slow down your system and performance would have been not as good. Okay. And we have a memory stick in here which is fully decrypted. Okay. And we'll probably show you now how to set that up. It's called BitLocker to go. A. When our computer is fully encrypted, okay, our hard drives, fixed disks, okay, it'll say BitLocker on for all the fixed disks, and that's done, providing we've enabled them. Okay, it's another little BitLocker called BitLocker to go, which is basically encrypting your USB memory sticks, etc. Okay, those external little drives. Okay. Turn on BitLocker. Let's do it for our removable disk. Okay, make sure you don't take it out and plug it back in because things can really, really go wrong. Okay, you, if you have a smart card, you can use a smart card or you can use a password. Okay, make sure it's a complex password. Um, we're just using something simple here for the sake of it. Okay, click next. Okay, make sure you save your recovery key because if things do go wrong, you would need that recovery key. Save to a file. Okay, we'll save it in this case. The desktop, not a good place to save it, but we're just doing it for the sake of a demonstration. Okay, once again, you have the choice full disk or only the use space. Okay, we're going with just the use space only. Okay, it's faster. Click there, start encrypting. We don't have too much on the thing, so it should literally take a few seconds. There we go, we're almost finished. Okay, that's perfectly done. So basically, BitLocker is now on for removable disk, or this one only, and basically the fixed drives that were on the computer. Okay. You can turn on auto unlock if you want to. That might be quite nice in case you forget passwords, etc., where it's remembering it for this computer. Okay. And for that drive. Hopefully, all this has helped. Thank you for watching.